Hey YouTube, Mike the Gambling Guy here. Have you ever walked into a brick and mortar casino and said, damn, these table limits are so high, I, I, I just can't afford to play here, right? Has that ever happened to you? Well, depends on what you're playing. But if you were playing Baccarat or Craps, at least those two games, you have a way that you can reduce the minimum bet. Right? You're going, how can I do that? They, they said the minimum bets pay $25 in the Baccarat table. That's, that's a minimum. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm prepared to pay, I got a bankroll for a $10 game, maybe. Right? Well, if you've got a bankroll for a $10 game, you're in luck. Say it was a, say you're going, well, it's a $100 table in the high limit room. You can still play there. Now, you, you, you might be going, well, I might be only playing, you know, 20, 20 or $25 hand. So if you're playing a $25 hand and there's no tables that are available on the main floor, go to the high limit room. Check it out. So how do you, how do you reduce their, if you ask them, can you reduce that to $25? They're going to say, no, 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 we will not, sir. Um, so what, what you're going to do is this. So if you're playing Baccarat, you're simply going to put a hundred dollar bet on the player and a hundred dollar bet on the banker, right? And now you're going to put a, $25 or $20, whatever you want, as long as it's greater than five bucks, right? Because the banker hit is going to cost you five bucks just for that hundred dollars. So when you go above that, it's going to cost you a little bit more, but you've effectively reduced the house minimum to, to, to something else, right? So if it's $25, you're doing a hundred dollars. Well, you know, now you're paying what a dollar and a quarter, uh, for your, for your ability to play there by doing a $25 bet. Which you would have, you would have paid that on the banker anyway. Just know that now you're also going to have that five dollar dig in order to pay to play, right? So hopefully you're uh, betting more on the player side and the player side's hitting side, <laughs> right? The other side, whatever side you're betting on, doesn't matter as long as it's hitting. But you, you can certainly do that on the, on the floor. So if you're doing twenty five dollar minimum bet, thirty five dollars on one side, twenty five on the other. You've just effectively made that a ten dollar table. So same thing on the craps table, right? Because the, the only thing that'll bite you on a craps table. So if it, say it was a, a ten dollar table, you go, I really want it. <laughs> I'm a stickler, and I really want this to be a five dollar table. Now it's not going to affect your place bets. You can't make those cheaper. It's still going to be ten dollars or twelve dollars each for your place bets. There, there's not really a way of getting around that. But if you wanted to, in order to, to make your pass line or your your come bets. You could certainly make those a less lesser denomination. So if it was a $25 table, you could put 25 on the, the don't pass, 25 on the pass, and then say, okay, I want my, my additional nickel or my additional $10 to go somewhere else. Maybe you're a $10 player and you're like, there's no $10 tables available. They're all packed, but I'm going to, I'm going to play at the $25 table because there's a few people here. You can absolutely do that. Right, so you're gonna have thirty-five dollars on one side or the other. Now, if you're playing the the pass line, what you're gonna to want to do, because how do you win on the don't pass, is if it's a two or a three is rolled on the initial bet, right? That's gonna lose your pass line bet. What's gonna be a push? This is the only thing that can bite you on the crap tables if you get a twelve, right? One combination out of thirty-six. I'm doing a come out roll and twelve rolls. Of course, of course it does. Right, because any other of those other five bets, four bets, actually the seven, the eleven, the two, or the three, those all offset each other. Right, it's no problem there. And then you can just put your additional bet on, on whichever side you were going to put it on anyway, for for your for kind of your, your your advantage, unless you just want to play odds. And and you can certainly do that if you're playing pass line. You go, I'm just going to negate the house advantage. And I'm not going to not going to have a a front line bet. I'm going to play both the pass and the don't pass, and maybe I'll throw a dollar on 12, right? So now I've insured against that 12. So if that 12 had happened to come, I'm going to win 30 bucks, right? But maybe you're just like, I'm going to take full advantage of the house, and we're just going to, we're just going to play the odds. And instead of playing maybe 25 on the front and 50 on the back, well, now you go, I'm going to go 75 on the back. Because I, I didn't risk my $25 in the front. So if you're willing to do that same amount of risk, you literally can have no more risk into the game, but you can have a lot better re return. Because that flat bet only pays your frontline bet, either 
uh, on the pass or the don't pass, the come or the don't come, only pays even money. So if you want to say, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to increase that. I'm going to make more money because I'm going to make true mathematical odds. It's the only bet in the casino that you can get true odds is on craps. And that's the odds bet. So how can we increase that? By doing a pass and a don't pass. And then we can have more in our odds. So if you like that tip or trick, give, give me a thumbs up, right? So you can, you can lower your risk. You can hopefully increase your return if you're just playing the odds bet. But you can also just minimize what the house minimum bet is by, by laying both sides, right? So this is a, this is kind of a, a unique nuance that I've never had a trouble playing with at any casinos. If they do give you a hard time, let me know. Um, I've, I've played a lot of places all over the country and I've never had a, a place where you can't play both sides because they still have the 12. Uh, so, so they still have the advantage. Now, if you're playing Baccarat and you're like, well, there's that 5% VIG against me. Well, not my local brick and mortar casino. Uh, so the one, the Caesars property near me, they don't charge anything if the banker wins. They don't, they don't collect that 5%. So it's, it's literally, it's just a, a true free, um, free bet for me to be able to reduce the house minimum. So it is a $25 table, but if I want to go down to 10 bucks, I go down 10 bucks. It didn't cost me uh, that 5% big at a lot of places charge. So once again, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully you subscribe, I'm trying to grow this channel and appreciate those that have subscribed. And until next time, Mike the Gambling Guy, I'm out.